Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about if test and one way ANOVA. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So before defining if test and one way ANOVA, we will see an example first. Suppose we have three groups here. So this is the first group. This is the second group and this is the third group and in this first group we have five students who qualified mathematics exam and mean of the marks that they obtained in mathematics is 16. In this second group we have again five students who qualified English exam and mean of the marks that they obtained in English is 12. And this is the third group where we have again five students who qualified biology exam and mean of the marks that they obtained in biology is 20. And standard deviation of each group is also provided in this table. Now the question is whether the means of these three groups are similar or different. So in order to do so you have to perform a statistical test that is nothing but ANOVA. Now let's define ANOVA. The full form of ANOVA is analysis of variance. So ANOVA can determine whether the means of three or more groups are different. ANOVA uses F test to statistically test the equality of means. In other words, we can say ANOVA uses F test to estimate whether to accept or reject null hypothesis. We have studied null and alternative hypothesis in our previous lecture. If you want the link, I am putting it in the description box. So briefly, if there is no difference between these three data sets, null hypothesis should be accepted. And if there is a significant difference between these three data sets, null hypothesis should be rejected and alternative hypothesis should be accepted. Now please note one thing here that student's t-test is also used to find whether the data sets are different or not. Then what is the difference between student's t-test and ANOVA? So student's t-test deals with only two data sets whereas ANOVA deals with three or more data sets. Now let's solve this problem. So here we have to calculate the A value. First, we will calculate A square for each data set and this is very easy since A's or standard deviation is already given. So, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4 and 4 square is 16. Now, find out SST or total sum of squares and the formula to finding out SST is this that is summation of n into x minus x bar whole square where x bar that is mean is equal to summation of x divided by n. So here we have 3x values like this 16 plus 12 plus 20. So 16 plus 12 plus 20 divided by 3. So 3 is the number. So that yields 48 by 3 is equal to 16. 
Now we can calculate ACST. So if we calculate ACST, we will get the value 160. Now let's find out MST that is the mean square of treatments. So the formula to finding out MST is SST divided by P minus 1 where P is the total number of populations that is 3 we have. Now SST we have already found that is 160 and P is 3. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So 160 by 2 is equal to 80. Next step is to find out SSE that is sum of squares due to error. And the formula to find out SSE is this. So here N is the total number of samples in a population. So in all three cases N is 5. And A squares we have already calculated. So the SSE is equal to 84. Next step is to find out MSE or mean sum of squares due to error. And the formula to find out MSE is this. SSE divided by N minus P. Where this capital N is equal to total number of observations that is in our case 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 15. And the SSE is already calculated that is 84 divided by N is 15 and P is 3. So 84 by 12 that is 7. Next step is to find out A value. So the formula to find out A value is this. So F is equal to MST divided by MSE. Now we know both MST and MSE. So MST is 80 and MSE is 7. So 80 by 7 is equal to 11.4. So what we can interpret now? So when the null hypothesis is true, a F value should be near 1 and less liable to extend further from 1. A values near 1 indicate more similarity within group means. That is, the groups are similar. A values further from 1 indicate a large difference within group means. That is, the groups are different. And what we found? We have found the A value is 11.4 that is far from 1. That means the groups are different. 